April 25th, 2024. Today is Ontario Spring Turkey Opener. I can tell you one thing, it's going to be a wet day, so I'm happy that I'm sitting in the ground blind instead of out in the open. So, um, hopefully today works. We can I had a little bit of spurs on them because I know my first bird didn't have any spurs on it. It came just rushing in on me quickly. But it was pretty awesome to watch those birds. Hello guys, we're back out here today. I'm going to be sitting in the blind today. I have set up in the one little corner where I've seen a group of gobblers come into this one area. I've been patterning these two groups of toms that have been coming through this hunting where I'm hunting and I'm hoping they'll walk right into that little direction off the roost when I'm basically set up. They usually come out around seven o'clock around that time but currently it's before daylight right now so um I'm gonna get into my blind, get set up, get the decoys up. I'm probably not gonna use any male decoys, I'm probably just gonna use hens today, just to see if I can get the gobbler in close to those group of hens, so hopefully it'll work out in my favor today. So either ways guys, let's get out there and kill some gobblers. <clears throat> Alright guys, we're changing up our position. We're going to try to get over there and get caught up with these birds because they're on the move. They just roosted from here, over there, and they walked across, and they walked across this entire field, making it over there. So now i got to go over there, try to sneak up on one, hopefully. They try to get into a different position and try to call them from there. Looks like our turkey hunting's not going in our favor, guys. Just trying to fill the second tag has been tough. We have been hunting turkey steadily and with little progress. I mean, I'm happy I got one at least this year, but these birds are making it hard to work for. Like, we had a group of them come off the roost this morning, and then basically they just, the hens came in. The hens didn't show any interest in any of the decoys. I'm thinking they might be scared of the blind, I think, or something. 
something is preventing the toms from coming in close. So, they're call shy, I know that. They will not come into any of my calls. What are we doing wrong here, guys? What am I doing wrong? I was lucky enough to get in close to try to reap them, but it didn't work out in my favor either. So, I could come back out this afternoon, later afternoon, and see if they come back, but. Alright, guys, we're heading back out this afternoon. We're gonna try to do a turkey hunt this afternoon, late season. We're getting on later in the season. The, the, the environment is definitely changing. Like, there's more leaves on the trees. It's almost feeling like summer now. Um, we've had our success in the early season. We got one gobbler in the early season on the April 29th. It is now May 21st. We're getting on to last couple weeks of turkey season here in Ontario, and uh, I'm still yet to harvest my second tag. But usually that never happens for me. Um, sometimes I get turkey tags. Sometimes I don't end up filling tags at all each season. They're definitely a challenging bird to hunt. But um, I'm hoping... My tactic this afternoon, putting up two hen decoys, that's it, and just not even calling very much, just gonna sit there, I'm gonna grab me some something to eat at Tim Hortons, grab me a sandwich or something like that, sit in the blind this afternoon, hunt till about seven o'clock, and see what transpires. So hopefully there's a turkey flopping around by this afternoon. So I'll see you guys out there. All right, cows are in the blind right now. Turkey Bacon Club, just enjoying the Turkey Bacon Club. I'm just waiting it out. Two hen decoys out, one per each side. We're gonna be watching this field for a little while tonight. Hopefully, something shows up. <laughs> Why sit here and join my Turkey Bacon Club? Well guys, another disappointing evening in the blind. Just a bunch of hens came in tonight, that was it. So I think our late season turkeys have been pretty much, I don't really see a lot of gobblers in the afternoon. I think it's more in the morning. So I think we should head back in the morning and see if the gobblers will come to my position. So I don't have to work till like 1 p.m. tomorrow, so we have all morning to hunt and get ourselves on a turkey again. So we're gonna head back to the truck. It's after, it's getting close to after legal time to hunt turkeys, 7 p.m. So we'll be back here in the morning. We are heading out this evening on a late season turkey hunt. Uh, me and my buddy are going out tonight. We went out this morning and we came across one of the birds on the property and we didn't have any success of getting this bird. Um, this property I've been hunting on all season has been under a lot of hunting pressure. I killed a gobbler on the 29th of April, which was an excellent hunt. One of my best hunts to date so far, but uh, it, the rest of the season has been a struggle. I've been missing birds. Birds have been henned up and they have not been coming into range. They're decoy shy, they're call shy, they're everything shy. So hopefully late season will work out for us. Uh, buddy has not my buddy has not ever killed a turkey before so we're hoping tonight will be the, make the night come true and I'm hoping to finish up my season here in Ontario so either ways guys let's get out there and get it done
a bird and shoot. Yeah! Woo! Uh, High five! Double, baby! Double! Woo! Woo! Guys, we had got two birds on the ground. <laughs> Hell yeah! Mm. Anyways, guys, another successful day in the turkey woods. Just notching my tag. <laughs> we actually got two birds over there. Lou got his, and we got mine here. I don't. He's got a nice beard on him, from the looks of it. And a nice little. I think it's a little smaller than the bird I shot like earlier but this is my second bird so out guys second bird down <laughs> let's get these birds home all right guys that hunt was so quick we had those two toms come rushing in me and my buddy got a double so we're just i'm going for the truck because those birds are freaking heavy and i'm gonna go get those birds <laughs> awesome hunt guys just an awesome hunt. Well guys, that was an amazing hunt, I can tell you guys. It was probably one of the quickest hunts I've ever been on in a while. And I've always, like me and my buddy, I have been begging this year to get myself a double with him. So, um, many times I try to go after these birds that were call shy and everything, just worked out this morning in our favor. Two toms come rushing in this morning. We didn't even think they were gonna come towards our spread with a singular hen, but I can say today was just a very productive day for both of us on this rainy, overcast i find that the, the the birds are just like that on these overcast days and all that stuff so um yeah it has just been one of those hunts where we made it exactly possible and i'm definitely happy for the success of this hunt so either ways guys we're gonna head back to the uh sw doors uh garage and uh, we're gonna clean this bird i hope you guys get you a video of me cleaning this bird and show you guys how to do it so either ways guys let's get back there and clean this boy up anyways guys we got her done this morning i'm officially tagged out here in ontario and i'd say the beard is pretty much a little bit longer than my other tom this is my second ever tom i took this year and it's got some pretty nice i think his spurs are a little bit longer than the other one this one's actually pretty sharper yeah it's, it, it that spur is quite sharp we got the other spur right there yeah definitely a very quick hunt like we roosted these me and my buddy roosted these two toms last night and i knew we had to sit on that particular spot this morning and i knew that at first i thought these birds were not even interested in us and then these two just came rushing in right to our spot he's got his bird first ever bird i've got my second bird this year third ever wild turkey that I've ever killed in my entire life and I do have to say the 2024 season has to be my best season yet guys so either ways I think out of these two videos we're gonna have an SW Doors kitchen but this time we've got more turkeys for the video so either ways guys um, if you guys like this video make sure you guys put a like if you guys are not subscribed to SW Doors make sure you guys click the subscribe button click the notification bell where these videos are and I'll catch you guys in the next video SW Doors signing out
a successful day in the turkey woods. Just notching my tag. 